So this week I made a game called Mandala, and according to Wikipedia, it dates to the 6th century. Mine is made from maple with mahogany and walnut strips uh, banded in between the two pieces of maple. And the technique that I use to create this banding is in the latest issue of Fine Woodworking Magazine. So the first thing I need to do is cut my lumber to rough length at the miter saw. Now that I've straightened one edge of the joiner, I can go ahead and cut this to width. So at the joiner, I need to flatten one face, but because this board is six and a half inches wide and the capacity of my joiner is only six inches, I'm gonna overhang my joiner by about a half inch. So that half inch material of overhang, we're gonna to need to take care of with a hand plane. So with the face jointed and hand plane side down, I'll go ahead and plane this to thickness. From a piece of scrap MDF, I'm going to make a template that we're going to use to create a curve down the center of the game. The sanding strip that I'm using is just a piece of sandpaper glued to a thin piece of wood. Just going to attach the template with a little bit of carpet tape. So with half inch spiral bit and a guide bushing, I'm going to use my template. I'm going to form a groove all the way down this board and I'm going to go about a quarter inch deep at two passes. In the fine woodworking article, the author claims that he cut along the channel staying close to one wall of the groove. With a pattern bed at the router table, I'm going to flush the bandsaw portion that we just created down to the routed portion that we created with the template. I planed down eighth inch strips of walnut and mahogany, and these will get sandwiched in between the two pieces of maple. The strips were flushed to the surface of the maple using a laminate trimmer and a mortising bit. In order to make the divots for the game pieces, I tape down a circle down to the game board. With a cove bit in my plunge router, I'll follow this circle all the way around and gradually lower the bit. Now that I have all the pits made, I need to make a tray at each end. Sorry about the birds, it kind of sounds like I'm in the middle of a rainforest here. Now after adjusting the fence on my router, I'll make another pass. So I finished sanding all of the router burn marks from all the pits. Now I'm just going to make an arc on each corner and we'll cut them off with the bandsaw. I'm going to use a mixture of tongue oil and varnish and mineral spirits in equal parts. So I just figured out how to play Mancala and it's actually a pretty fun game. And if you go to my website, I'll have a link where you can see the instructions on how to play. So this was my first video in HD and I'd like to thank everybody that donated towards my new camera. 
And I'd like to say thanks by uh, crediting those people that donated. So stick around.